materials for college study. They belong to Albert. These leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. Excellent. This ventilation fan is working. Let us see if I can activate the other one.
Palm House. We can see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room from this window. We can see the interior of the Colonial Collection Room from this window. Perfect. Now I just need to find Watson to check the result. It works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo. Now, if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out, by activating both Albert's and Mr. Hamish's fans. But only from Mr. Hamish's workplace would it be possible to see when Montague Dunn entered the Colonial Collection Room. Do you have friends at Kew Gardens? None. Not worthy there.
Do you have friends at Kew Gardens? None. Not worthy there. Nevertheless, we have seen Kew Gardens flower pots in your yard. How could they happen to be there? What? Our sacred place you permitted yourself to search. Sacrilege. No, oh, really now. There was a theft of plants at Kew Gardens a matter of days ago. And we believe the pots we found here may be connected with it. Please tell us, were you involved? No. Those plants were ours. They had stolen them from us. How so? Uh, their director. Dump, I believe. Done. Yes, that's, that's what I said. He borrowed from us three of our sisters for the exhibition at his green-fly-infested gardens. But he never gave them back to us. Excuses and imbecility. So we went in and saved them. I see. So if you stole those rare plants from them, then it means... Ah, I get it. Bravo, Holmes. I think the case is solved. No, we did not steal. We saved. Well, as a matter of fact, we were unable to find our three plants. I beg your pardon. And yet, you took all of the exotic plants from the stand. They had disappeared. It was the least we could do. They stole our sisters, and so we stole theirs. Well, we will leave you to your meditation. Let's go to Scotland Yard. Inspector, I believe that Martin Hamish is guilty of the murder of Montague Dunn. Aha! I knew it! I'll send the lads around to arrest him. Very good. I shall wait to hear from you.
Inspector, I came here as quickly as I could. Martin Hamish is in the large glass house. There's no need to hurry. Harm. Holmes, my God! Yes, we found him like that. Our messing around with the ventilation system didn't go unnoticed. Mr. Hamish realized that we knew. Inspector, could you arrange the body, please? I should like to examine it. The mark around the neck is very visible. He died instantly. Holmes, his left shoe is unique. This anomaly is often a characteristic of a club foot. Bravo, Watson. That is the key element of this case. Something about this rings very oddly. Why do you say that, Mr. Holmes? Why? Because of Mr. Hamish's club foot. Oh, I deserve to be kicked from here to Charing Cross. I should have noticed it. But, Mr. Holmes, I can't see why. No, I don't suppose you do. You must recall that Mr. Dunn was locked inside the Colonial Collection Room by the murderer. If it was Mr. Hamish, he would have had to run up to his workplace to trigger the fan situated above it taking into consideration the condition of his foot. Well, it is still possible. Perhaps, but it is rather strange that such a person as Mr. Hamish decided to base his plan on the speed of his gait. You mean to say that somebody helped him? So the suicide is questionable? Correct. Mr. Hamish accuses only himself in his letter, and so the investigation stops. Possibly an accomplice, then? That idea had not occurred to me, Mr. Holmes. I have another idea, Inspector. Thanks to the testimony that we have collected, we are able to rebuild the events as they took place that day. With a timeline, such as we did in the Jack the Ripper case. Precisely. The map at the entrance of Kew Gardens should help us with our timeline. Let us analyze the facts and statements so that we may recreate the events of that morning.
Perfect, Watson. Now, let us ascertain who assisted Martin Hamish in killing Montague Dunn. Let us summarize. Montague Dunn was poisoned inside the colonial collection room. He forced open the door, which means that someone locked him inside there at 10.20. Martin Hamish was last seen at 10.10. .10. This means that he has approximately 10 minutes to lock the door of the colonial collection room. Given that he was club-footed, it is doubtful. Albert also has 10 minutes to lock the door of the Colonial Collection Room, which is quite enough time. Miss White was last seen at 10 o'clock, which means that she had approximately 20 minutes to lock the door. More than enough time. Perfect, Watson. Now, let us ascertain who assisted Martin Hamish in killing Montague Dunn.
But Holmes, how can you be certain that we'll find Miss White here? It is obvious, Watson. Just use your brain. I am using it. I do use it. Now that the rope has tightened around Martin Hamish, Miss White must act to erase all traces of her implication. After the suicide of her accomplice, there is one final trace remaining. The deadly plants of the Divine Syndicate. She will be there. Very good. Shall we go? In just one moment. Now listen to me, Watson. I shall see her alone. You will conceal yourself behind her. Quietly. Whatever are you planning? Nothing spectacular. The impulses of women have always been a mystery to me. But she is a bold one, and so we must be cautious. All right. You can count on me, Holmes. Mr. Holmes, good day to you. You do not seem surprised, Miss White. Well, I was expecting you. Not for too long, I believe. So please tell me, as it is still unclear, who planned the murder? Was it you? You were wrong, Mr. Holmes. It was Martin Hamish, then. You managed to convince him to take on a more prominent role. <laughs> you could not be further from the truth. You think that you can fool me? You don't care what I think. It is difficult to care about someone who is capable of pushing a man to his suicide. It is over, Miss White. The police will be here any minute. Over? Perhaps. One moment you are here, and the next, you are on the other side. The other side? No! Stop! I beg you not to do this, Miss White. Don't come any closer. Please remain calm. We can help you. Not one step further. Don't try to stop me. Stop this foolishness. You cannot truly want to die. No, it's too late. Well done, Watson. She was not faking. Miss White, you have no right to take your own life. Dr. Watson? Did you just save me? Or worse? 